Moving on with the Ontario native trees. I got finishing up my cedars here. I've got a fairly large cedar in there. And the spruce. I don't know if this will be called a bird's nest spruce or if it's a white spruce. Eastern white spruce, maybe that's what it's called. I'm not sure. This one's cedar. A bunch of little seedlings in here. So the big ones I'll put in these two pots. Maybe I'll bunch. I think I've got seven, six or seven little seedlings in there. Put a couple in here and bunch the rest in one of these. Probably won't need the other one, but that's okay. Better safe than sorry, and I can just use it for something else. This is what I was using to keep the squirrels from digging up the sand. They buried a bunch of acorns in there and then this spring they took a bunch of them out and messed up some of my root systems. I think maybe they killed a tree or two and I was hoping to uh, plant those acorns in something because some of them were developing roots. Would have been a nice addition to the collection, some oak trees. I have one in my, one of my big pots that's still still there. I managed to get it covered covered under a rock before any squirrels got to it. Quite a bunch of roots in here. Some nice fine white roots. Good growth. Two bigger ones and another cedar in there. And then here we've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got, I think these might be three little balsam firs and a cedar. We'll put the two little cedars together in here. Three little really small balsams I'll put together in this pot. I don't have a lot of balsam firs. First things first, let's get these little balsams out of there. Balsam firs, real small. That's the bigger of the three. balsam first to me, I think. Three little balsam fir seedlings. In a small coffee creamer container. It's a make your own pot kind of deal. Next we'll do these two cedars. I'll make sure those roots stay wet. Oh, okay, this one's actually a little little 
sucker from this tree. Okay. That tree has more character than I thought it would. Cool. to cut a few of these little roots, but I can keep most of it. I only have my good sequiturs out here, so clean off all the soil from these roots. Okay, so all I'm gonna do here, it's a pretty good root system. I'm just gonna cut this one that's growing up. So that, these are not the right, this is not the right tool for the job. I don't know. I'm going to leave it as it is for now. It fits into that pot well, so I'll just leave the rest. Get it in here. actually growing some roots really high up here so I could cut it as two separate trees but I'll just leave it growing like that give it some character in the future hopefully all these cedars that I've repotted in the last few videos are the only ones in my possession I used to have a couple but did not manage to keep those alive back when I was only keeping trees inside before I had you know, studied up appropriately, watched enough YouTube videos. I went to YouTube University when it comes to bonsai training, so shout out to Nigel Saunders from the Bonsai Zone. He's definitely been my main inspiration i love his style i don't like the i don't know if i'm ever gonna wire a tree i do some guy wires every now and then with artificial sinew but nigel's style just really speaks to me anyways Nice cedar there. Okay, I'll put this small one in one of these. seedling. We have quite a few of these going now. The big spruce. Let's get these roots cleaned off a little. Just 
should have expected that I needed to do some root work on these bigger ones. Just this one that curls up I need to get rid of here. Bring it back to there. Okay, that's good for now. Let everything else grow. stone in this one to keep that sitting down. starts to come I think it kind of starts to come back up again anyways so that's kind of cool okay well there we have it didn't have to cut a lot of roots off hopefully they all adapt to their pots We've got spruce number one bird's nest spruce maybe, I'm not sure. Another little cedar. Pretty sure these three are balsam firs. This will be the first, my first three of these, so balsam fir one, two, and three. I used to have some, but they all died. Got a big cedar. I'm not sure which number that'll be, but I guess it should be number one. It's my biggest cedar. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Cheers.